Else, there's a vacant lot in Tonawanda near the first Grand Island Bridge that has contained radioactive waste since the late 1940s. This is drone video from what the Army Corps of Engineers calls the Seaway Trail site next to the Ashland Oil Refinery near River Road. Waste like radium, urine, or uranium, thorium, and more have been buried in a clay pit there for decades. It was processed at the Lindy facility in Tonawanda where uranium and other materials were processed for the Manhattan Project. Unlike other sites in western New York, though, the Army Corps of Engineers isn't removing it. Instead, they're putting, they awarded a contract to cap the property where the Army Corps of Engineers says the materials can be safely buried for 1,000 years. When we complete that over the next year or so, that's completion of the remedy. Then we have a few reports that we write to, for, for closing out the project. So over this 20-year uh, period that we've had it, we're kind of at the final phase of that. We close it out the project, and then we also hand it back over to Department of Energy. Now, the capping of the Seaway site in Tonawanda is expected to begin in May. Now, you may remember that the Army Corps is removing radioactive waste from a site up in Lewiston. Why are they keeping it in Tonawanda and removing it in Lewiston? I'll have an update on that tonight at 11. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.